following problems we'll be dealing with square roots and cubed roots. So here we're asked to differentiate y equals to the square root of x. So the best way to approach this is to rewrite it first. So that's y equal to the square root of anything is that to the power of a half. So the square root of x is the same as x to the power of a half. So now we can differentiate this. So we're differentiating y with respect to x, so dy dx. We multiply by the original power, which is a half. We reduce the power by 1. So instead of x to the power of a half, it's a half minus 1, which is x to the power of minus a half. So we've taken 1 away from the power. So we can leave it in this form, but if you want to tidy it up fully, that'll give us a half by 1 over x to the power of a half. So x to the power of minus a half is the same as 1 over x to the power of plus a half. If you bring it below the line, it changes sign. So that gives us top by top, 1 by 1 is 1 over 2 times x to the power of a half. But as we saw before, x to the power of a half is the same as square root of x. So it's 1 over 2 times root x. On to our next example. Here we've got the cubed root of x squared minus 12x. So again, we start this off by rewriting it. So instead of the cubed root of x squared, we'll write x squared to the power of a third. So when it's the cubed root, it's to the power of 1 over 3. Just like when it's the square root, it's to the power of 1 over 2. If it was the fourth root, it would be to the power of 1 over 4, and so on. So we've x squared to the power of a third. So when we have that, we multiply the powers. So that will give us 2 by 1 over 3 is 2 over 3, minus our 12x. At this point, we can start our differentiation. So it's differentiating y with respect to x. So dy dx. We start with x to the power of 2 over 3. Multiply by the power, so it's 2 over 3 times x. Take 1 from 2 over 3. We get minus a third. Minus 12x. As we saw before, we just drop the x. So, you may leave it at this point if you wish, but if you want to tidy it up fully, we'll do that next. So what we have is 2 over 3 times x to the power of minus a third is the same as 1 over x to the power of a third. So when you move below the line, the sign of the power changes. Minus 12. So to multiply that out, 2 by 1 gives us 2 over 3 by x to the power of a third is 3 times, we can write that as the cubed root of x. Minus our 12. So that's the sum completed. If you want to test yourself within these type of problems, here's three further problems. Pause this point if you wish to view them. And here are the solutions to those problems.